Hello, welcome back to my channel uh, Gamma Di Gamma. And in this video, let's do a problem. Let's simply just do a problem, and you'll see what kind of problem it is in a while. So let's get started. Okay, so let's call the problem i. It's defined as the integral from 1 minus phi to negative phi of the die logarithm of x divided by x dx, where phi is the golden ratio 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, which is approximately 1.618. I think yeah okay so what are we gonna do with this guy how, how are we gonna actually evaluate this well you you could try to use symmetry but it wouldn't work I mean even if it works it's gonna be really really long and tedious so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the sum the infinite sum definition of this die logarithm so we have sum from k equals 1 to infinity of x to the k over k squared and we have to still divide by this x dx now assuming uniform and absolute convergence we can interchange these guys so we have sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k squared integral from 1 minus phi to negative phi of x to the k minus 1 dx this is now going to be sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k cubed uh, I'm just using the power rule here x to the k evaluated from 1 minus phi to negative phi now when I plug in for both these guys I'll have a uh, negative phi to the k divided by k cubed minus sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 minus phi whole thing to the k over k cubed and now this by definition is the trilogarithm of negative phi subtracted the trilogarithm of 1 minus phi Okay, so things just took an unexpected turn right now. So, uh, you know, before trying to apply any identities on this guy, I would like to point out just like a slight corollary or a lemma that phi, the golden ratio, satisfies the quadratic equation x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So since phi satisfies this quadratic equation, phi squared minus phi minus 1 is equal to 0. We can just plug in x equals phi like that. So this means phi squared is 1 plus phi. Fair enough. Divide both sides by phi. So we have phi is equal to 1 plus 1 over phi. Okay, so phi minus 1 is 1 over phi, which implies that negative 1 over phi is 1 minus phi. So instead of 1 minus phi in, in, in our original i, we can substitute trial logarithm of 1 minus phi turned out to be negative 1 over phi. We can make that substitution. Now, Let's use the, the, the inversion formula for the tri logarithm. For the tri logarithm. So the way that goes is say if you have the tri logarithm of negative z minus the tri logarithm of negative 1 over z, that is nothing but negative 1 over 6 natural log cubed of z 
माइनस पाई स्क्वायर ओवर सिक्स टाइम्स नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ जी सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई दैट नाउ माइनस वन ओवर सिक्स नेचुरल लॉग क्यूब ऑफ वेल जी इज फी माइनस पाई स्क्वायर ओवर सिक्स टाइम्स नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ फी एंड इट टर्न्स आउट वी कैन अप्रोक्सीमेट दिस टू नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट एट वन जीरो वन थ्री थ्री सिक्स दैट्स एक्चुअली द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस दिस वियर्ड इंटीग्रल दैट वी हैड सो आई द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम वन माइनस फी टू नेगेटिव फी ऑफ द डायलॉगरिदम ऑफ एक्स डिवाइड बाई एक्स डी एक्स इज जस्ट माइनस वन ओवर सिक्स नेचुरल लॉग क्यूब ऑफ फी माइनस पाई स्क्वेड ओवर सिक्स टाइम्स नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ फी वेर फी इज द गोल्डन रेशो वन प्लस स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फाइव ओवर टू सो दैट्स एक्चुअली द फाइनल आंसर I hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope it was a nice golden experience Yes that pun was intended But in any case sir uh, that's it for this video So although this video was short I would still say the same thing please like and subscribe to my channel guys recommend me to your friends in the math community spread the word of gamma di gamma In the meantime stay home stay safe keep doing math and uh, Stay tuned for more content. Peace out. Signing off.